Hey YouTube, it's been a while. And I'm really thrilled that I was able to get the device in my head almost two years ago. Uh, it's all done and ready to go. You can take a look at my older videos to see just how far we've come. Got a uniform design now. It looks really clean, professional, uh, and it's rigid, really easy to take around. And hey, I haven't forgotten. This is a simple device for writing, and that's all there is to it. If you haven't been following, last year we crowdfunded Zero Writer Inc. Uh, raised enough funds where I could do the first production run. And it's almost sold out. Uh, I think we've only got maybe 50 units left, 50, 75 units, something like that. Um, so actually, uh, if you want to get one, now is the best time because I do not know when the next run will be. So I got the good news from Soldered that the first unit off the assembly line is ready to go. They sent it to me over here in Canada and I wanted to unbox it and kind of show you guys what you should uh, look forward to when you get yours in the mail. So let's dig into it. Worth mentioning, I shot a lot of this video with one hand, so it's really hard to do a lot of this one-handed, to be honest. So they sent me an extra set of keycaps. This was just so I could kind of take it apart and show you guys what's in there and all the different keys you can get. And you'll also be getting these little stick on feet, just a way that you can um, change the angle of your zero writer, just to make it a little bit uh, easier to use or more ergonomic. And right off the bat, I was really happy, really impressed with how everything came together. Uh, it looks sleek, uh, clean. Here's the custom keycaps I had designed by my friends at FK Keycaps. These guys make really amazing low profile keycaps for mechanical keyboards. This project, because we had so many people involved, we were able to get some really nice stuff. This kind of keycap set is usually really expensive. We were able to pull it off. My assistant gets anxious when there's boxes being opened and he's not involved. And I thought it would be good to show you guys how to install the, uh, the optional feet. Again, these are included, so you'll receive them. And you'll be able to stick them on your Zero Writer if you want, or you can leave it uh, flat. It's up to you. Really easy to install them. And then I uh, turned it on and handed it over to my partner so she could try it. After a few minutes, she was working away no problem. Although we had one minor thing that we wanted to adjust. She decided that uh, we want to swap out the uh, switches for the backspace uh, and the space bar to a quieter switch just because those keys you hit often. And uh, I thought, why not? Uh, one of the cool things about this design is you can switch the switches with whatever you want so if there's a certain tactile uh, feel or, or sound that you prefer uh, you can get that there's a lot of really great options for switches out there uh, i would recommend my friend who runs lowprokb.ca he helped me with a lot of the design related to this project
I'm using a keycap puller and a switch puller here just to kind of ease them out, but uh, you don't have to. You could uh, do it manually or get your fingers in there. I would recommend picking one up though. They're pretty cheap on uh, Amazon or something. I might add them to my store at some point too. This particular switch, Ambient Silent, is a silent switch, uh, really nice. Um, a little bit too expensive for what this project was, but you can grab a 10 pack from his website and you can just add them uh, throughout the keyboard wherever you want. I find, yeah, the backspace key, space, maybe return, any key you hit more often, you might want to use a, a more quiet switch, but it's up to you. And I always put the spacebar on backwards. And okay, I want to tell you guys a little bit about what to expect as far as the software goes and how you can get using your Zero Rider right away. I didn't set up for this video super well, so I won't go too crazy into the detail, but I'll just kind of give you a quick overview and some cool stuff. So there's a new menu now and it's uh, a lot more functional. Makes it a bit easier to tell what document you're working on, details of other files you have. And there's a lot more control so you can set up things like the refresh rate of the e-ink. You can change like what level of ghosting, like how much speed versus clarity, that kind of stuff. Uh, lots of other user configurable options like spacing. You might have noticed that I have double spacing set up on this just because I like it, but you could change it to whatever you want. I went with a really simple file system. So basically you just kind of work. It automatically will save the files for you. Uh, you can organize them with a flag. Again, I'll explain more in a later video. Also added a status bar at the top for quick information about your document information on your session time, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's totally optional. You can uh, customize it however you like. I've added a lot of the most requested features from the Alpha Smart Neo, which is a pretty cool device. So you can do stuff like highlight your text. You can, you know, delete a bunch of text at once. You can uh, move your cursor around, insert text wherever you want. There's a whole bunch of shortcut keys built in. You can navigate through the document with the arrow keys. You can also do uh, what you'd expect, like copy, paste, cut, um, all that kind of stuff is built in. Like you can jump from word to word, top of the page, bottom of the page, all that kind of stuff. Oh, and probably important to say, all this is, is optional stuff. Uh, there's a, a, an option in the settings to switch between a draft mode or a editing mode where you have all the cursor navigation and stuff. If you just want to write, you can go to draft mode and none of that stuff will even work. It won't even, it's not even an option. And how you get files off of it? Well, uh, SD card is the easiest, although I struggled a little bit there with one hand. And it stores files like you'd expect, a uh, list of text files. There's a couple other folders where you can like add, a, add your custom fonts if you want. And there's a, an archive of deleted files because you don't actually delete anything on this device. You uh, have to delete it on the computer. I just don't want people to lose stuff by mistake. Uh, another way you can get a file off is by uh, plugging it in uh, and using the file transfer tool that I threw together. There's a long story as to why it won't work just like a, a USB stick like you'd expect, but 
this will do the trick in a pinch. And I took one of my favorite devices, the DM30, took the QR code idea. So you can actually turn any of your text into a QR code, scan it, and copy it into your notes or into a, a Google Doc or something. I'm going to end the video there, but you should subscribe because I plan on releasing videos very often over the next couple months as the Zero Writer Inc. starts shipping. And uh, the next video I'm going to do is all about custom fonts and how you can get your own font onto the Zero Writer Inc. in whatever size you need. I will see you guys next time.